Hi everyone! Today I'm getting ready to plant my summer flowering bulbs. So you may have spotted that on the channel already, but I did a huge bulb haul of everything I bought so far and I'm getting ready to plant it now. So we're at the beginning of April. It's a really good time now to start on your summer garden planning. As you can see here, the garden is waking up to spring. We have tulips and hyacinths and a lot of beautiful blooms in pot awaiting their turn to shine. So today I'm going to be starting some gladiolas and dahlias. Some of them I'm going to be direct planting in the containers where they are to flower and other bulbs I'm going to start in smaller containers to start growing them on and make sure I can get blooms as early as possible in this season. So let's get started. So I have two really cute containers here and I think those will be really cute to complement a taller zinc planter that we put together a little bit earlier in the season. The first thing I did is drill a drainage hole into those containers. Uh, as always in containers it's really important. We don't want them to get too full of water because that could cause rot for our plants. I'm going to fill those with a multi-purpose compost and just lay my bulbs and I think I'm going to also go for a type of summer bulb the lasagna just to make sure I can get a beautiful succession of blooms. This is what I'm sitting on, not very comfortable. Before starting the planting, I'm going to add some long-life fertilizer. This is pelletized fertilizer and it releases the nutrients over time. So I'm just going to add a couple of scoops and mix it in really well. So we have three tubers here that are well, rather small, I have to say. This is where the flowers grew last year and those are the tubers. So you want to put those tubers facing down and that old stalk facing up. So I was saying I'm fudging a little bit the guidelines because these tubers are quite small. I think they'll be fine. So what I'm doing here is just spreading out the tubers, nestling them in the soil. Be very gentle because you don't want those little tubers to detach. The recommended planting depth is about 10 centimeters. So I'm topping up with compost and then adding a little bit more pelletized fertilizer. Now to the second pot. I'm planting my gladioli bulbs a little bit deeper because this will get really really tall, about one meter and you want them to be properly anchored down if it gets windy and the spacing for this is about five centimeters. And now the second layer of my lasagna. Don't push them down too firmly because otherwise if the soil dries out the roots will push them out and then they won't be able to uptake water properly and of course roots go down and the pointy side up. Our three tubers of Dahlia Aspen in the smaller container and here a lasagna of a mix of purple, blues and whites. I can't wait, I think those will go really well together and I'll make sure to plant up also the last pot with a color that will go well with all of these. So for Dahlias now, when they grow on, you want to make sure you keep these in a frost free place but keep the soil really moist to help the tubers establish and grow new roots. And for the gladiolis, it's a really good idea to plant your crop in succession a little bit like you would do in the vegetable gardens. So the recommendation is about every two weeks for gladioli bulbs. Now that these little pair of containers is done, I'd like to show you how I put up the rest of my tubers to give them a head start. This is the mother load. The compost. All right, so now I've lined up a couple of pots here that I'm going to fill with compost and then pot up my dahlias. Ideally, you'd want to use pots that are a little bit larger, but these are recycles from uh, previous purchases, so we have to roll with that. Just maybe a little extra effort to keep them moist. So this is the process I go through. I have my tuber. This one is called Richard's Fortune and I think the bees are going to love it. 
it's really easy. I already have my pot out filled with compost and I'm placing carefully the tuber in it. This one has already started growing. Then you just top up again with compost and make sure you have a really good spread around the tubers and to do that I'm just tapping them to the pot. Of course the label needs to go in and then later a good water and you want to make sure to keep those in a fast free place. Now I'm just going to be repeating that process for the rest of my box. Now that my labels are ready, it's a really important step to remember what's what at this stage. I'm just repeating the process I showed you, so the pots are half full of compost and I'm adding my tubers. Just make sure you inspect them closely and you discard anything that's rotten, damaged, because it will just not grow. There's not much yet, but it will be beautiful very soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh, the table, <laughs> the table wobbles. Bye. I later decided to top dress those little pots with biolized leftover from another project. And I think this look really cute and that will give us something to look at while we await more blooms.